The signing of this MOU took place at the NVIL headquarters in the nation's capital. It will also enable the two agencies to work together at the declared seaports to ensure imported vehicles, mobile plants and machineries comply with their laws and regulations. Chief Executive Officer of MVIL Michael Markov acknowledged the PNG Customs efforts in ensuring that vehicles being imported comply with the laws and regulations. He says this partnership paves a way for a better collaboration for both agencies. You know, we, we kind of close our doors. We operate in this confinement and not actually going out, reaching out. Uh, so we've been looking, you know, in the last couple of years, we've been looking and we thought, right, we should be having some kind of an arrangement with uh, customs, you know, because we have got people coming to us all the time. Why don't we go out and, you know, make the business more more efficient and more friendly? So we thought we would reach out to customs and, you know, try to come up with an MOU. Mr. Markov also highlighted that the collaboration will reinforce corporate integrity and transparency and maintain the safety standard in a highly regulated environment. The chief of PNG Customs Service, Mr. David Towe, acknowledged the MVIL for recognizing the significant role that PNG Customs play. Now we can be able to uh, uh, share information on uh, imports because we more or less collect um, all the uh, information on the, on the imports. So once we provide that to you, it will make it also easier for you to uh, know how much or so, how many uh, vehicles or um, how many um, um, machines were imported or those, yes. those that um, you will um, yes. need to um, register uh, for your purposes. Uh, we also have um, issues where uh, vehicles are imported uh, illegally. Mm. So I think when we... Um, when they come to register with you, if you provide us the information on, on the um, people who are coming to you to register, <coughs> you can also track them down. Mr. Towe says with the sharing information, they will be able to identify people who are engaged in importing vehicles illegally. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News. Yeah.